Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. I'm starting a little bit earlier, but I thought I should start now. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'll adjust the audio in a bit, just in case you can't. Let's see here. So I have a slightly blurry view of the sun for you. Uh, it's already starting to happen. I know it's blurry. I'm sure there are much <laughs> better, better ways to watch this eclipse, but um, this is the best I can do. You can see that already it is halfway there. So hopefully, um, hopefully my microphone works. Hopefully everything is working. I'm pretty excited about this. You could probably tell. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there are better places online to watch the live stream of the eclipse. I started about five minutes early because uh, the sun is kind of going in and out. The clouds are coming in and out. So uh, I thought I should start while we can actually see it. Um, hopefully the audio is good. I have my mic in a slightly different place. I can, uh, probably don't want to adjust this too much, but I can move this a bit so that maybe you can hear me a bit. This is a regular English lesson, by the way, with the joy of watching the eclipse happen. So if you uh, have questions, there is a form. It will be linked. Um, um, there will be links. Sorry, I have to watch this eclipse. This is a once in a lifetime experience. It's like, it's super cool. I was worried all day that it was going to be cloudy. In fact, it was cloudy um, for most of the morning. And even while I was setting up, I was having trouble getting my camera set so that I could see the, uh, the eclipse. But uh, thanks for being here. This is cool. Let me go to a bigger screen for you again. I know uh, full, the full eclipse will be at 3.18 my time. So that will be in about 40 minutes. So we have lots of time to talk about English, to enjoy the eclipse, and to, uh, to just hang out. This won't be as constant of talking. I did set this camera to full manual. So you should see, if I'm correct, you should see me slowly get darker and darker. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let me just check to make sure. Um, I'm going to do a little switch here. And then I'm going to go back because I don't think it was actually showing the live version. I should adjust my camera a little bit here. I think I have to go this way. Maybe it will... Uh, Hopefully it will figure out how to focus on that for you. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty big blur, isn't it? Maybe that's a better picture for you to look, to see that. Uh, indeed, the moon is going across the sun. Um, that's pretty wild. I don't know how else to describe this. I could do a little bit of, uh, I'll do a little bit of English uh, vocabulary. I, this is really wild. This is amazing. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Oh, there, my camera went out of focus again, but I'm sure it'll pull back in. Ah, oh, look at that. I'm saying things like, oh, look at that, or this is amazing. Um, we'll see if my camera can figure this out in a sec. Um, let's see here. No, that says, I hope you have some lights with you, Bob. <laughs> I'm not sure how dark it will get. We'll have to see. Let me adjust this. that as centered as possible um this is what happens when you use substandard equipment to try and live stream you can see it's kind of going in and out of focus oh there's a really good shot of it let's go to the full view so slowly we see the sun going across um i think what's happening too is the clouds are coming in and out and then like right now it's cloudy so then my camera has trouble focusing so anyways let's see if there are any questions oh there are some questions very cool uh, from Alyssa uh, is the question is oh let me close this the question is 
All the best, Bob. And could you explain, please, the meaning of to blow off something? So usually you blow, you blow something off. It means you don't care about it. So let's say you don't care about eclipses. You might just say, ah, I'm just going to blow it off. There's no reason to go. I don't enjoy them. I don't want to see it. Um, meaning of to, oh, I can't type, blow something off. Um, you ignore or choose not to deal with it. So that would be what it means. It looks like we're going into full cloud cover here for a little bit. Put this part down a bit so you have a bit better view of me. I'm not going to put my kids on camera, but they're slowly coming outside to watch the eclipse, which right now it's cloudy, so we can't see it. We are 35 minutes or so from complete coverage of the sun. Let me see what the next question is. From Mode. Hey, Mr. Bob, you look like a mad scientist in those eclipse glasses. Yeah, they kind of look like lab goggles, don't they? The kind of thing you wear in a computer or in a science lab to protect your eyes. I don't need them right now, though, because it's it's clouded over. I'm glad we could start with some of it. Uh, but seriously, thanks for sharing this cool event with us. Nothing, nothing can eclipse our love for you. Well, thanks, Mo. Thanks for the kind words. Hi to the 326 people watching. If you're wondering why it's black here, this, the clouds just went over. Hopefully the clouds do um, go away. We did have a little bit of a view. Uh, Aline says, hi from Hamilton. It's so cloudy where I am. I can barely see it. Yeah. We are finding that right now with the eclipse glasses on, you can't even find you can't even find the sun in the sky. So not a total failure though. We can still hang out and learn some English. By the way, if you want to go watch a live stream of the eclipse instead of me, you should go do that. That would be much more fun, I think. Uh, next question from Denny. Does the sun's disappearance shock your plants? No, I think we're used to having like cloudy, rainy days. So I think with the moon going over the sun, probably not that different, right? And would you like to plant some cosmos flowers for this occasion? Just imagine a cosmo growing during an eclipse. So a cosmo is a type of flower and the cosmos is a word we use to refer to all of the space around us and the universe. So very, very cool. Laura in the chat says, hi, Bob. Thanks for sharing this eclipse phenomenon. Oh, it's you can sort of see it coming back. It's sort of there. Not quite. It just, I spoke too soon. In English, when you say, I spoke too soon, it means you thought something was going to happen and you said, oh, look, it's happening. And then, and then it didn't happen. So anyways, you can see behind me that it's quite cloudy, right? Like if I go to no display, you can see the leg of my trusty a uh, tripod right here holding up my eclipse camera which can't see the eclipse right now it is like it's not really dark but i think it's darker than it normally would be with this much cloud cover i think there is uh, a little bit of it a little bit of shade coming um let's see here I hope, I hope no one, this is from Martin, Martin. I hope no one turns into a werewolf during the eclipse. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen either. Uh, Raul says, hi, teacher Bob. Nice to see you. Um, let's see here. Uh, Jorge, it, Jorge says, it's a total eclipse in your location. And how many times during full eclipse do you have a flashlight near? Yeah, I don't have a flashlight, but thankfully it will be mostly over in about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, let's see here. Let me get another question from the stream. Vitor, next goal, do a live stream of the moon. Well, that would be fun too, wouldn't it? Like do a live stream at night. I would have to research. Obviously, when it's cloudy, it doesn't really uh, allow for a good live stream. But uh, certainly it would have been, at least you got to see it at the beginning. That was really, really fun. Uh, let me just test something here. Yeah, very cool. You know, so just a little bit of an update. Apparently in Niagara, there's like over a million people visiting this area of the world. Um, the eclipse goes kind of across the United States and it just goes over like the bottom part of Canada where I live. Um, so it's pretty unique experience. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what complete totality looks like, what it looks like when it is uh, completely covered. I wish the clouds would go away. Jose says, 
Hi, Bob. I just wanted to say thank you for all your wonderful English lessons. My wife and kids, Henry and Bella, are huge fans. Watching your videos brings joy and helps us have family time while learning. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad you can sit together and do that. As a family, we often watch a show called Jeopardy, where they ask questions. By the way, that's a great show to watch uh, if you're learning English as well. Um, let's see here from Judith. Again, not showing the eclipse because it's uh, really cloudy. Really cloudy. <laughs> a big. I'm not going to put a fake one there either. Judith says, how many times have you seen a solar and lunar eclipse in your life? I hope you enjoy yourself and won't be scared. Have a nice time. So there was a partial solar eclipse a few years ago, and that was actually a relatively normal day. I was working on the farm. It was in the summer, uh, but it only went partially across the sun. And so it got a little bit dark out, but not, not really dark. It wasn't too bad at all. So let's see here. Lolly Lolly says, I can see this event live on Radio Canada Info. Yeah, so there are places in Canada where there are no clouds and they are live streaming it. So that's very, very cool. Um, Bob, let's talk about, this is a swing and a miss. This is a bit of a failure in terms of uh, watching the eclipse, although you did see a little bit of it at the beginning. And you can see that it is slowly getting darker out here. It's kind of weird, actually. Um, Kind of a weird feeling like it just feels like a an overly cloudy day right now i'm curious to see uh, how much darker it does get pablo says what are the animals reaction when the sky turns dark well, i still hear birds chirping and i know our dogs were just playing like normal the cats seem to be fine so i don't think it's crazy at all minerva in the chat says thank you teacher Every day I listen to your class. That is awesome. Alex says, hello, Mode says, it might happen to Freddy though. He hasn't typed in a while. Oh no, maybe he's already turned. Freddy Lulu, Freddy Wolf, turning into a werewolf. Uh, no, that says it is getting darker. It definitely is getting darker. I wonder how dark it will get. Like, pretty wild. I think it looks darker on the screen than it is in real life um let's see here nito says hi bob is the sun like the devil because of its complexity so can you explain it to me please i don't know if i would use that phrase to describe the sun but complexity refers to something being difficult to understand freddy says hey bob did you know that the last eclipse was in 1972 the year you were born the next time it will be in 2106 i'm not sure i will be I will be very fresh by the no that is that is a long time in the future I don't think any of us are going to be around then unless you're very very young watching this channel um let's see here what are we we are 30 minutes away from complete totality uh last time I could see the sun it was about halfway across so slowly but surely uh it is slowly happening for those of you just turning in this is an English lesson more than an eclipse live stream now because uh as we sit here uh the clouds have gone over the sun and we can't see it so still fun to hang out uh let's see here um Heimel says hi bob orangeville here i think it is getting a little darker here however can't really tell if it's still regular cloudy day or eclipse starting yeah so you're a little further north and east of me probably so, and I don't know if you're in the path of totality. So I am in the path of totality. That means that um, it will completely cover the sun where I'm sitting. I think if you're in Toronto, it'll be 99% coverage. So let's get another question up on the screen. We'll keep moving along here. A little bit different, but Hisham says, what's the difference between crown tiara and coronet is it coronet i don't even know how to pronounce the last one but crown is usually a big round thing made of gold a tiara is usually a smaller thing that doesn't quite go all the way around your head and uh let's do the uh, old uh how to pronounce um don't even know how to spell it oh there's a b here so here we go I want to say it the French way, coronet, and the Americans, 
or a net. Yeah, so I was on the right track. Um, I would think that's the same as a crown. That would be my guess on that one. Uh, let's see here. Skipping the next one because it's in a language I don't understand. So Andre says, amazing stream. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> a little darker than I expected. Take a look to the insects. If any, they're at sight. Maybe they'll go to sleep. Bees, maybe. There was just a bee on my table acting strangely. I don't know if that's a normal thing to have happen during an eclipse, but uh, certainly that was happening. Uh, Mode says, it seems like the clouds got jealous of the moon, stealing the show and decided to block the sun as well. Yeah, definitely the clouds are the ones that we are seeing today. Certainly not the... Uh... So, Ilya says, we passed the overlap here in Texas. So, Texas is done. Very cool. Um, let's see here. Just looking through the chat. Judith says, I think we will have two partial lunar eclipses until next year when you will have a partial solar eclipse again next year. Oh, that's very cool. I uh, say, please says, hello, Bob. How is your mood today? Pretty good. I'm in a pretty good mood today. Um, what's strange is when I look to the north, I can see sunshine and I would be happier if I was out there in the sunshine. That would be fun. Uh, let me see here. Um, so I am going to mention this. If you haven't asked a question yet, if you have a question for Jen, you should ask that in the using the link, using the form, because Jen's going to sit with us in a bit. Um, I know she went by earlier into the house. Who knows? She might be coming out of the house soon. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, once again, if you're here for the uh, solar eclipse, all you're going to see is simulated darkness <laughs> in a little pit. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Unibi says, but where's the eclipse? It's that black box there. That's all we're seeing right now. There is, um, yeah, there is no, well, you know, it might clear up again. We'll have to see. Uh, who knows? You, you just never know when it will clear up again. Okay. Let me get another question on the screen. This is from know that. Hey, Bob, more or less, no questions today. Thank you. I'd mu I just enjoy the great event. With you and the viewers, you're awesome. Thanks a lot, Bob. Yeah, so many of you are in parts of the world where this isn't visible. It's obviously still happening. It just depends where you're sitting. Um, but uh, I feel bad, but I'm sure there have been uh, eclipses in other parts of the world when I haven't been able to see them. So it's kind of fun that I get my turn today to kind of experience one. We are 25 minutes away from the moon completely covering the sun. It definitely is getting darker. Like I could adjust my camera if I wanted to. Um, I set my camera to full manual. So it's set to, I forget exactly. Let me just check one thing actually. This, this should be there. That's the most accurate. Yeah. So that should be the most accurate setting right now. So I have my ISO set to 200 and everything else. Everything's manual. So we should see as it gets darker here. Sorry, I lightened it up a bit, but it, it was looking much darker than it actually is right there. So thanks, know that for saying I'm awesome. Uh, you're awesome too. Um, next question from Abdul. What is the difference between shout and scream? Thank you so much. So a scream usually means you're afraid or you're angry. So if someone was to scare me, I might scream. Like I might say, ah, if I was really angry with someone, I might scream at them. So it means yelling at them in a really loud voice. Um, but shout is usually, I guess if I'm angry, I can shout at someone, but you can also shout in a positive way. Like I could say, I'm going to back up the car, shout when you want me to stop. So it doesn't mean the person is experiencing strong emotions. Okay. So they would just yell, Hey, stop. And then I would stop the car at that point. Uh, let's see here. Juanita, do you have a rooster near you? It should sing like usual very early in the mornings. Oh, that would be interesting. We do not have a rooster. But I guess if the sun does disappear and then come back, the rooster would probably think that it's morning. So we'll have to see um, if that is indeed what happens. Just checking the stream to make sure it's working. I'm very happy that it's working so far. We did have a short power outage this morning. They did say that 
because so many people will be in this area, there's a chance that the power could go out, like there could be no electricity for a short period of time. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, it went off, it came right back on and I was happy about that. Uh, Ronald says, I don't know why, but all the vampires are dancing outside as the sun disappears. Yes. And then Redfish says, there's no such thing as vampires. Yes, a, a, a creature of fictions. Um, do animals, are the animals afraid when the dark comes? And what about when it's raining? Where do you, oh, they, our animals are in the barn. So that's where they stay to protect themselves. And our dogs actually are allowed in the garage of our house. And they are allowed in the entranceway as well. Uh, Hisham says, I don't want to do something you don't accept. Is it okay to ask questions again with a different account? Because the link only has one response. Yeah, that's fine. As long as one time someone asked like a ton of questions. So uh, let's see. It's nice that you mentioned Jen after I used the form. <laughs> Just kidding. You can ask a question in the chat. Of course, that's fine too. Uh, Amelia says, I'm scared of dark places. So now I would say... Like, it feels like it's dark enough, like it feels like it should be raining or something. Is a very weird feeling right now. Um, yeah, and we still have like 20 minutes to go. So I, I'm curious to see um, what it's like. My microphone's bopping up and down. So, um, So, Emilio, when you say I'm scared of dark places, we usually say I'm afraid of the dark. So when you don't, like, I'm scared of the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. Although I don't like walking around outside um, when it's very, very dark out. So this is what it looks like right now on my camera. I would say in real life, like, my eyes have adjusted. My camera obviously hasn't, and it is easier to see right now. But uh, it definitely feels like uh, things are getting a little bit darker. Uh, from Unsel. Hi, Teacher Bob. I am very happy to experience this magnificent natural phenomenon with you. Thank you for sharing this moment with us. Bye. You are very welcome. Um, no, that says you should really think of a solar park, Bob. Maybe that would this would solve the problem with the power too. Yeah, you know, I I thought about it. There are a number of things we need to fix on our house before we would spend money for solar. Um, to start, we have to get a few new windows. That's actually happening this year. Um, but my house was built in the early 80s. And there are a lot of parts that we need to, um, a lot of parts of the house that need to be fixed. So we'll take care of that first and then go from there. Cars on the road are driving slower, but it's actually not that bad here right now. So I'm not sure. Like you don't need your lights on to drive right now. It's, that would be totally um, fine to do. Yeah, there is a bee and it is just landing on the ground and acting strangely. I don't know why that is. Sita, hi, Mr. Bob, I'm working and listening to you. Hopefully everything is fine there. Everything is great here, Sita. Um, feel bad that you're still working. I was given the day off because of the eclipse. Um, so that's been kind of nice. Um, there's a robin just sitting in the lawn over there. That's kind of strange. Maybe animals do behave strangely on a day like this. Who knows? It's hard to say. A question about the English language. Victor, how to get consistency in learning English? It is a difficult one for me. So there's a couple of different ways to answer this. If you're trying to make sure you consistently study English every day, you really just need to plan for that and commit to it. You need to make sure that you are, you know, make a schedule and you see I'm going like this and five days a week, you're going to study English for an hour or six days a week. Um, in terms of having consistent results, it depends how you are testing yourself. So if you are taking a test, like an official test, you'll want to get good at reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Um, and then make sure you're learning some vocabulary and learning some grammar. Um, but so there's, I, I guess there's two ways to look at what consistency means in that situation. So Jose Pont says, my seven-year-old Henry wanted to ask, how tall are your silos at your farm? Could you tell if Walter's behavior, your dog changed during the eclipse? 
So no, Walter is behaving pretty normally. He's around somewhere. He actually, Jen might have put him away because we do have people here as well. I'm not showing you that part, but we do have people, a few people watching the eclipse over there. Um, so he might just be in his crate right now so that he doesn't run around and bark at people. So, but I haven't noticed anything different. How tall are the silos? The one silo is 50 feet tall. So I don't know what that would be in meters. Um, 20 meters tall, 20, yeah. So a little less than 20 meters. The other one is about 80 feet tall. So a little under 30 meters, somewhere in there. That would be the height of the silos. Sure, it's up to you. It, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of a disappointing eclipse. <laughs> There's just a black box on my screen for people. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to stream till 3.40 ish. So, anytime in the next half hour. You're, uh, you're pretty, people are pretty excited though. <laughs> to see, I'm just talking to Jen right now. I don't know if you can hear her. Um, would you mind getting a, me a bit of water when you come? Like just a cup of water i forgot to grab a cup of water when i came out so um and i don't know if my camera's still running because there's no sun so it's hard to see hey that was an authentic english conversation between bob and jen um anyways let me uh read through the chat here thanks again for hanging out i know that this is uh at least like i started early because i realized okay i i have a bit of a a window here where I can show people the eclipse. So at least you were able to see a bit of it. Tanya, it feels kind of, it feel, it kind of feels like we are all together on a camping trip and sitting around a campfire. Yeah, a little bit. You guys get to chat. Mode says the stream keeps getting darker and I keep thinking it's my brightness setting that's getting dimmer. No, it's definitely not. I'm actually worried my camera will eventually not be able to see me and focus, but I can always flip the focus to manual as well. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely darker than I expected. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't, um, am I back in focus now? I think so. Um, so Jen's going to join us in a bit. If you have a question for Jen about anything, you can put that in the chat. Or sorry, in, use the form, please. That would be better. Uh, Sergio says, hi, Bob. Have you ever listened to the song Total Eclipse of the Heart? So that's by Bonnie Tyler. And if you are a member, that is the song of the week in the little week at a glance lesson plan that I put out earlier today. So if you, um, if you are a member, you would have gotten a link to that song. I thought it was an appropriate song for this time of year. Freddie says, I remember in 1999 during the eclipse in France, while it was dark, I had the strange impression that the wind was picking up. It was strange. So here it's very calm. Like it's abnormally calm right now. There's no wind. I don't think you guys can see the wind turbines in the background, but they're not even, well, one of them's turning slowly that I can see. Um, my neighbor's mowing his lawn. I could hear his lawnmower going. So that's what's happening. So I know that says, Bob, could you give a few examples of the use of to help oneself to something? Thanks. So if I walk into the staff room at work and there are donuts on the staff room table, I might help myself to one of them. That simply means that no one's going to come and bring me one on a plate. If there are any kind of snacks on the table in our staff room, it, it means they're for anyone. Um, it doesn't mean that they're for someone to use for something else. So if I walk in and there's a plate of cookies, I can just help myself to one of the cookies. I can just go and grab a cookie and start to eat it. Um, so it's when something is laid out and something is free and you need to get it yourself. Usually we talk about food when we're talking about that. Uh, like, that's a great example. I might bring some snacks to class and I might say, there's three candies for each of you, help yourself. And that means I want the students to come up, grab um, whatever I'm giving them and to take it back to their seats. They can come and get it themselves. Um, from Solomon. Thank you. I'll come back later. Yeah, no, that's great. So did you hear what I just said? It's kind of a weird phrase, right? Jen said, I'll come back later. And I said, yeah, no, that's great. So I'm trying to figure out why I said, yeah, no. It's pretty common. 
So I'm saying, yeah, to what Jen said, saying that that's fine with me. And then I say, no, that's great, meaning that's fine with me. So it's a little bit Australian. Uh, Australians often say, yeah, nah, or something like that. If you're Australian, mm -hmm. please help me out. But um, yeah, that's uh, me speaking uh, regular old Canadian English. Okay. Claudio says, you asked for water. Do you have an umbrella? No. I don't think it's going to rain. I hope it doesn't rain. We'll have to see uh, if it does rain today. We're not sure. Um, I don't have a canopy over my head, by the way. Uh, Rosario says, thank you. Thank you for all your great lessons. I have learned a lot. No problem. Uh, Redfish says, the sky is so dark. You know, again, it's kind of, I think it's a little bit deceptive, but I would say now it feels like early evening. Like it feels like it's six or seven o'clock at night, even though it's only three o'clock. Was it 3.08? We're 10 minutes away from totality, believe it or not. So hopefully my camera, um, ooh, there's a little break in the clouds coming. Of course, if the clouds clear at 3.18, there won't be anything to see anyways, because the sun will be completely covered. Uh, Helmuth, do you need to protect your camera lens to show the clips on YouTube? Yeah, so my other camera, the one that would be right here if, if we didn't have clouds, I actually used, I actually made a little modification. I used one of these lenses and I, I modified it from a pair of glasses to go over my camera. Uh, and it, it wasn't perfect. Um, it was kind of a little fuzzy and not very focused, but it was enough. If you go to the very beginning of the live stream, uh, you can see um, that it was there and it was working. Um, Unsol, do you know the last time a total eclipse occurred in your area? I think someone mentioned it was in 1972. I was uh, very young then, one or two years old or zero. I was zero, 1972. I would have been four months old. I don't know what the exact date, I don't want to give away my exact birthday, but um, Gene Ha says, I can't wait to watch the eclipse with you guys. Yes, again, it's cloudy here. This is the image from the camera. You are not going to be able to see the eclipse on this live stream, but you're welcome to hang out and learn some English. Pablo says, here in New Brunswick, there is a sunny day. There you go. Um, 30 degrees, says Gabriella in Sicily. Very warm. Judith says, no wind, really. Water instead of tea? Great. Yeah, it's the middle of the day. I like drinking water. Mode says, do you pronounce bot and bot the same way in Canadian English? Yes. Nightbot is a bot. I bought a subscription to Nightbot. So now we have a bot. Um, so if you bought a subscription to be a member, then you can type exclamation mark link and then the bot will give you the link. There's a lot of bots in that phrase. Eduardo, this is, I agree 100%. Eduardo says, the universe is amazing. I agree. It's very, very cool. Redfish says, the smart animals will know it is a solar eclipse. The dumb animals will think it's already nighttime. There we go. Um, Unsel says, it's very creepy when it suddenly gets dark during the day. I think the mosquitoes are coming out. It's a little early for mosquitoes, I think. Um, again, I will tell you that, um, I will tell you that it is, uh, I'm just going to check. I got a text here from a friend of mine. Um, yeah, he has... He must be somewhere where he can see it a little better. Let's see if I can get this on the screen. It probably won't focus on this. No. Hopefully it finds me back. So he sent me a photo. We're almost at totality. Like wherever he is, it's definitely very close to totality, I would think. And then what is this? thought I had a phone call or something. Maybe people phone each other during eclipses. Who knows? Okay, so what you're seeing on the screen, I don't think is fully accurate. So I'm going to adjust my camera just a bit here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hopefully that didn't mess it up. I wanted to do, what did I want to do? Yeah, I think that's probably more accurate. So I don't want to like make you think it's darker than it is. So I just adjusted the ISO on my camera. What I see in the camera screen is, pro is a lot closer to what I'm experiencing in real life. Yeah, 
Now, human eyes are really good at seeing in the dark. So obviously it's a little easier to see than I was expecting. And I, again, I think, let me do that one more time. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably a little brighter than it is, but it, at least you can see me now. Um, but it is certainly, if you know anything about cameras, I started at 200 ISO and then I went to 400 and now I'm at 800. So I think that's probably an accurate representation of what it looks like right now. Um, let's see here. ASOC says, I'm an international student in Toronto, longtime subscriber, still watch, you know, understand local culture. Eclipse is disappointing here though. Still couldn't get a chance to use my Eclipse glasses. So yeah, I guess Toronto, if I look north, it looks very cloudy north of here. It's a little strange because, oh, just a sec. What do we have going on out here? Do I have, let me get. Let me, just give me a sec here. Be patient, please. I think I might. Able. Oh no. I don't think I can. Like you can just kind of see it clouds. No, I can't catch it on my story. Like there's just, it's basically dark right now, but there's a very, yeah, it's too cloudy. I thought you could just kind of, you could just maybe kind of see it, but not really. It's, uh, yeah, it's gone again now. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Anyways, we try our best, right, to do what we need to do. Anyways, I, there's like, I would say, like, we're four minutes away from it being completely covered. And it's, it's like late evening now, I guess. It's kind of a funny, kind of a funny look. I don't, I don't know. I, this is one of the few times that Bob the Canadian is a bit at loss for words. Um, looks like night has fallen. Don't go to sleep now. Yeah, it feels like it's asleep. Felipe says, where's the eclipse? It's cloudy here. You can't see the eclipse at all. It's covered in clouds. There's nothing that you can see. Sergio says, Mr. Bob, please don't go blind. I, I'm not too worried about that. It is very, um, is very cloudy here. So I'm not too worried about that at all. Uh, my friend says, I put glasses in front of the camera lens. Very cool. Um, that's how he got that picture. So that's neat to see. Um, Emilio, oh, sorry. Let's see here. Emilano, which place of Canada is this? I'm in the Niagara Peninsula. Um, so I'm close to Niagara Falls is where I am. So close to Niagara Falls, Ontario. Freddie says, I can barely see you again. I don't think that's accurate. I'm going to give this another little bump. I think that's probably, that's probably more accurate. So let me see. My kids are yelling to have a look. And I still can't see it. It's just too cloudy. Yep. So I see like a bright spot behind a cloud. That's all I see. So that's, uh, and when I put the, um, like there's nothing, nothing to see. Oh, well, I think I'm going to give up on the eclipse. I'm not going to give up on the live stream. So what are we at? Let me see here. Two minutes. Oh, it's really getting dark now. Yeah. This is really weird. So again, the camera is darker than it is in real life, but it is certainly getting really dark here oh this is wild like okay the camera let me try to adjust again like this is probably oh it's getting darker like you can 
feel it getting darker. It's really weird. Yeah, this is very cool. Yeah, every my kids and family are all. Oh wow. Okay, so this is this is pretty accurate. Like it is really dark here. Like it's definitely so it's 317 uh 317 p.m. This is we uh, my the yard light on my barn just turned on. You can actually Yeah, you can't see anything up there. There's just Okay. So the uh you can't see me. This is pretty accurate actually. Let me see how yeah, that's as high as I can go. So you can see me a little bit. Uh, it's like nighttime. Like it's, it, I mean, all around me in the distance, I can see sunlight like kilometers away. But where I'm sitting, it, it just looks like nighttime. This is weird. It feels like it's like nine o'clock at night. I didn't expect it to get this dark. This is weird. If you're <laughs> wondering where I am, I'm in here somewhere. Let me see if I can, uh, let's do this. I feel like you guys need to at least see that I'm here. Yeah, hi, I'll put this right here. Um, yeah, uh, it's literally like nighttime, it, but a weird kind of nighttime. So in the distance, I can see that it's light out. If I, I know if I drove a hundred kilometers that way, it's still daytime. Uh, people are driving by on the road and they have their lights on, like the trucks and cars going by. Um, who is yelling? So my kids are all uh, standing over there. They don't want to be on camera. Uh, and they're yelling at, they're saying, this is so cool. They're shouting. They're not screaming. If I can make it an English lesson. Um, by the way, I did adjust my camera all the way up to 25,000 ISO. Uh, because that's how, that's how dark it is. So it's three, I think we're in complete. Yeah, 319. This is probably totality. Uh, for this area, definitely. Uh, sorry, I can't show it to you. It's just not, uh, it's just not available. Just a cloudy sky. You can kind of see, um, like it's not dangerous to look up because you can't even see. It's like a, a cloudy night with a full moon. Like you can see behind the clouds, there's some light. But um, uh, anyways, uh, very fun. Sorry, this is very much, uh, yeah. This is, I, I just have to stop talking for a bit. This is completely unique. Yeah, this is wild. Like the, um, the um, wind turbines, the nighttime lights have come on. And if you didn't know this was happening, it would, it would feel really weird. I think my neighbor is still mowing his lawn though. Um, that's, 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 maybe he hasn't stopped to have a look, but, uh, this is weird. Very, very weird. I, I, yeah, this was certainly worth, we had the day off school. This was certainly worth having the day off to be home to experience this. This is fun. I feel bad for people who drove a long ways and then that's still cloudy. Um, yeah, and if you're wondering why you can see me, it's because I turned my uh, I turned my phone camera on. Okay, so now all of a sudden, this is weird. Let me just turn my flashlight off here. But all of a sudden, it's 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 rapidly getting light out, like very rapidly getting light out. This is not me adjusting my camera. Um, oh, and I see a little sliver. Just a tiny little sliver in the sky. I don't think I could even catch it on camera if I tried. But uh, yeah, like all, it's <laughs> that is bizarre. You're learning a lot of uh, expressions here today. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust my camera in a bit because it, it's making it look like, and now the sun is coming back. So I'm going to go, I'm going to adjust this every once in a while to keep it as accurate as I think the real light is. But um, yeah, wow, that was, that was just wild. And now like it's, it's already light enough that it's day, you would say it's daytime again. It's, it's certainly not nighttime anymore. 
um, maybe I should go here so you can see a bit more. I got a little excited there. That was a lot of fun. Let me see if I can uh, see it. No, it's still too cloudy. Just starting to pop open. So we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Hey, Jen's going to join us in a bit. I think the uh, exciting part pretty much over. That was that was the eclipse. It got dark and then it got light again. And even though the sun is still very much covered, it's enough enough of the sun is showing for us to be able to see out here. So I'm going to adjust again. That's probably you're seeing what I'm seeing. So I, I'm not trying to fake anything here. I wanted to make sure that you were experiencing something similar to me. So people's lights are still on, like the lights that come on at night. Uh, my neighbor's building, his light is still on. Um, and it is definitely slowly, slowly but surely. Oh, it's completely cloud covered now. Yeah. So, oh well. <laughs> So you can see behind me that it's cloudy, right? So um, in the chat, let me get back to just yakking away with you guys. Uh, let me see here. I wanted to. That was weird. Sorry, I was just replaying the, the, um, the live stream for myself just to see what it looked like. Uh, know that we put Oscar and Walter in their crates because we had a few people here. So in order to, otherwise they run around and bark a lot. Madi says the totality is over or not. Yeah, definitely totality is over. Uh, we're in probably that is, I've just adjusted the camera again. That is probably an accurate um, look at what it looks like. Let me just check again. See if we can catch part of this. You know what? Not sure. No, it's not on the screen. I'll leave that there. It, it you know, the the clouds are kind of coming in and out. And I'm not looking at the eclipse when I do this. I'm looking at the lens of my camera or at the screen of my camera. So uh, I would not look at the eclipse, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing when I do that. I have my camera right here. And uh, I'm I'm looking at this part of it every once in a while. So if you if it looks like I'm taking my glasses off to look at the eclipse, I'm not. I'm looking at the back of my camera to uh, see what's happening. And we're gonna adjust down again. That's a little darker than it is here. It's actually like normal day again now. So um, let's see here. Jamie says, "Do you hear the birds going crazy?" So it got really quiet here. And then the birds right now are just flying around as if it's morning. I feel like it sounds like it's morning right now. I'm not sure. My mic cuts out if I don't talk for a bit. It has a clipping. So you probably can't hear what's happening. So, but. Um, yep, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to look at my camera here. I feel like the camera's kind of picking it up, but it's still quite cloudy. So we'll uh, we'll see as time goes by if it does find its way. Let me just check one thing. There we go. Hey, that was weird. Like it just got really dark. Really <laughs> like, it, yeah, really fast. And I had to keep adjusting. I had to adjust the camera so that it was the right I, I didn't want them to see what's that yeah 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 i'm still there they're hearing everything i'm saying so no i kept adjusting the camera because oh, i rolled off um I, I i didn't want to fake it like this is about how bright it is right now right actually it's a little brighter than that but that's darker than it is right now but it'll get brighter this is jen hi <laughs> How'd you like the eclipse? That was so cool. That was really fun. <laughs> Sorry, did my hair. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> no, Oscar um, was like uh, like searching for voles or moles or whatever, and right. then all of a sudden he froze, and he just was like looking because he didn't. I don't think he knew what was happening. Yeah. Do you, and do you feel like? Let me check something here. 
Do you feel like the birds are acting like it's morning? Well, I think they, yeah, we were saying that they got really quiet and then, uh, and then they started chirping again. That's so cool. Yeah, it's, the clouds are gone now, right? I can't quite get it in the camera. Oh, that's too bad because you can actually see it through the glasses. And it is on the back of my camera right now, but it, I can't get it on here. So, unless maybe I'm just in the wrong spot. Let me just turn it. Did you get it before? Yeah. So right when I started the lesson, I definitely see it. I think you should be able to get this. Yeah. I don't know why I can't. Maybe I just feel like I don't want to spend too much time trying to get it in there. Oh, there it is. Off that off. Sorry, did you did it move or your camera moved? Um, let's go here. So it it kind of goes in and out. So there's a lot of weird insects too. So like, oh, it doesn't really show it. No, it does. It'll come. Like there it goes. So that what you see now is what we're seeing. That's how much of the sun we're seeing in the sky. Um, I'm glad it just got to the point where we could catch it again. So that's kind of cool. So sorry, the camera does go in and out, but um, I think we have to sit closer together if people want to see us. Jen. Um, let me see if I can find a question. I'm going to skip some of the questions and get to one maybe. Alicia says, Good morning again. Yes, definitely good morning again. Um, okay, so we should read the chat here. Hello, Ms. Jen. Nice to see you. That's Hi. from Know That. Lolly said, Lolly Lolly says, hello, Jen. So glad to see you. They like you. <laughs> Mode says, oh, hello there. Jen, you are awesome, says ASOC. Hey, Jen, you showed only when it's an eclipse. Yes, Jen only comes <laughs> out every 147 years for an eclipse. I did remember to tell them that when I was looking up to adjust my camera, I wasn't looking at the eclipse. Oh, right. So I didn't want people to think that. Um, let's see here. The birds are quiet. Yeah, they were singing earlier. Freddie Wolf says, hello, Jen. Glad to see you on the screen. You should... Hi. Freddie. Oh. <laughs> Freddie. <laughs> um, so... Maudie says, starting to appear again. And then Foxy Caddy says, you two look so great together. Adorable. Thanks, Caddy. <laughs> Katie, Caddy. I never know how to say Caddy's name. She runs like a big English learning group um, in South America. Let's see. Hi, Jen. You're an important part of this channel. <laughs> Thank you for coming today. Uh, I wish it would focus. Yeah, because it looks more like a sliver than a, a ball. Yeah, maybe it'll focus. It looks like a really thin... Like moon. No, oh, sorry. I keep. Oh, there. Now it's slowly. Yeah. It still looks bigger on so, you. So, what I'm surprised at. So, in a hundred and however many years, I'll get a better camera next time I do this. What I'm surprised at is how little of the sun is shining right now and how bright it is. Well, that's what we said. Cause like, this it, is. Yeah. Like, I don't. The sun is incredibly powerful yeah. in my mind. Because it, it went so quick, too, like from light to dark. Yes. I'm going to do this and this. See, I then... can see why people drive, like why now why people were driving to like Niagara or Kingston. or To see it. Because if, if you weren't in a total eclipse, you're not getting that dark. No, right? and it was weirdly dark. It, that that <laughs> it was, was the, like, it's cool to see it happen, like a partial eclipse, but it is really cool to be in it. Like, yeah. And I didn't realize how dark it was going to be. No. Like, because it literally was like 316, and I thought, oh, it's not that dark. But then two minutes later or three minutes later, it was really dark. Right. Super dark. So that was a lot of fun. Um, hey, do you want to talk to them about anything, or you want me to wrap this up? No, I can go. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to go. <laughs> let's read some more comments for a sec. Let's get. Let's hi. go here. Then they can see you a bit better. Um, sun's getting bigger. Definitely. Um, let's see here. Hi, happy to see you, Bob. Who is that guest with you? <laughs> or you want to introduce yourself? You should tell them about yourself. Just give me a, like a minute of oh, you talking. I'm not really, I'm, I'm your wife. <laughs> this is Jen. She's my wife. 
half anything she is the other half of the youtube channel and i I would never teach english um my english is very poor (laughs) you're a good example to make it sound positive you're a good example that english speakers themselves sometimes i make tons of mistakes oh all the time i mix up words i make up words just, Sometimes the words are in the I wrong mumble. order. I mumble. I'm not very. You're a lot clearer. Yeah, but I don't know. We've. Yeah, I don't want to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm admitting it. Yeah. I would never teach English. Yeah. I don't know how you do this. Um, let's see. Are um, you at the last point in the eclipse line? No, actually, um, it's going to go through another part of Ontario and Quebec yet. So it's still moving northeast. So Madi, we're not at the end. Freddie says, it seems that the hairdresser has well eclipsed the moon and the sun. Sure. Not sure. Not sure what eclipse. that means. Eclipse. Oh, eclipse. Oh, it's from the joke. <laughs> See, sometimes I don't understand English. <laughs> so, um, Where in Canada is the best location for witnessing the eclipse? So I think a lot of people went to Niagara Falls. That was supposed to be great. Um, and I think actually further south of us, I don't... Or is it north? I don't remember exactly where we it's are. It's going, it came, it's up towards Kingston. Yeah, like we weren't like, in the exact middle. I think Kingston right now at 334-ish. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think they're in total right now. Okay. And you, then it's going up through Quebec, right? Yeah. And then, I don't know after that. Yeah, and then it'll keep keep moving along. Yeah. Um, hello, teacher Bob and Mrs. Jen. What is the temperature now? Oh, you know, I don't, don't you think it's probably 10 or 10? 12? 11 degrees. Ah, not bad. Yeah. You know what's weird today is there is no wind. Like, no. This is so, it's, that's what made it almost more eerie is that there's like not even a breeze at all. It's getting cloudy again. If you're wondering why I'm not showing you the eclipse. <sighs> um, Andre says you both look so nice. Thank you. Um, Oh, know that says, if you allow me, I would ask that Bob, Ms. Jen, could you get Bob to make a video of what you do with dried flowers? Oh, we'll see. I don't. Sometimes, we, <laughs> sometimes we dry flowers and sometimes we I don't we dry sell them. a lot of flowers, um, but there, that is becoming quite popular right now. Yeah. Dried flowers. And it's, I, I put in, I don't, I didn't put in a lot, but I put in more straw flower yeah. and status because it's an easy dry. And yeah. I probably should see Gumfrina. That's an easy dry flower too. Yeah. I would say it's not one of your main focuses. It's not one of focuses. my passions. No. I just don't. So you've, Jen's dabbled know. in it. I'm trying to teach English words. You've dabbled in drying flowers. Yeah, but dried flowers, you have to have another, it's like a whole place to dry them properly. And it's just another step. And I'm, I'm too busy. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not too busy. It's I always just, about time with us. Yeah. Like, how I, I, so I just haven't done a lot. Um, Jose, I think it says Jose. Hi, Jen. Just wonderful to get to see you on camera. You guys are crushing it at these English lessons. Good vibes all the time. Please, Jen, we'd love you to open a YouTube channel too. Oh, something to think about. (laughs) It's not going to say anything else. (laughs) Something to think about. Freddie Wolf says the eclipse is moving to the southwest. Oh, that's good. Freddie knows what's happening. Isn't the eclipse move? Yeah, maybe. So. I don't know. Madi says, is the temperature impacted by the eclipse? No, it. It was definitely cooler. Like, you didn't feel like you were sitting in bright sunlight, right? True, but not much because it's been cloudy. That's not an accurate picture. It's not that round right now. Oh. It's actually more like a crescent moon right now. Oh, yeah, it's not round at Maybe all. Maybe if I shake my camera, it'll focus. On the clouds oh, coming back. this is not... I think the camera turned off. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey, you want to talk while I switch batteries? Sure. <laughs> it's your favorite part, right? I don't know how Bob does this. This is um, hard. You just read the chat and you kind of... I don't know where you ended off. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, someone's going to sleep. 10x oh, code. Oh, yeah. The time is different around the world. Have a good day. Um, someone... M- m- yeah, so that's live again. Again, it's not that round. My camera is really having trouble focusing let's go to a bigger shot here come on little camera focus that's too bad it's having trouble oh that is that's what it looks like right now but a little bit crisper a little (laughs) a lot crisper it's like yeah excuse me 
Oh, Bob, cut the connection. Did I cut the connection? I don't think I did. Let's see here. Nah, it looks like... It's like also the dogs are barking. Seems to still be working. Uh, Todd the Canadian is here and says, super cool. <laughs> I hope Todd is uh, enjoying the eclipse wherever he is. Oh, there he right is. Right down at the bottom. Oh, hi, Todd. Todd. <laughs> so I think know that. Can you just uh, know that? Can you just chime in whether your connection is working? Because for us, it seems to still be streaming. And I think, let me just double check here. Maybe it's not. Look, it froze, didn't it? What froze? So, like you, oh, it is working. Never mind. Or maybe I... maybe we just weren't talking. No, I'm not moving. No, that's delayed. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm listening to myself. We're like, we're both sitting still. Thinking it's not working. Sorry, I was thinking it wasn't working. It, it no. seems to be working. So, so read that one there. Um, okay, so the most interesting thing about a solar eclipse is to look at the emotions of the people who observe it. I agree. A hundred percent. I'm glad you shared this experience with us. Thank you. I was using a lot of English words that I probably normally don't use. Well, could you hear us yelling? There was yeah, like, they, they asked who was yelling. There was like five <laughs> of us over there, and it was so fun just to... Like I like to watch everybody's reaction because yeah. it is once in a lifetime, right? Like when else do you experience this? Muhammad says, hi, Bob and Jen. Are you both speaking naturally right now or are you slowing down? Uh, this is how I talk. Yeah, I think I'm definitely. I'm not even thinking about slowing down. Should I be slowing down? No, I, I, <laughs> some of my lessons are for advanced learners and some are it's just English. You know? Oh, Jen, what is your favorite flower oh there you go um lisianthus it's like a looks it's like an well it's an annual for me um and it look kind of looks like a rose but has like a way better vase life so a it's really pretty and b um i can sell it to wedding designers and to my market customers so it, it's it hits all like checks all the mark the the boxes yes um, yeah it's a good flower it's hardy it lives long in a vase I just Lots love everything colors. about it, except... Did I just say everything you said? No, I don't know. It It is, um, like, it's fairly easy to grow, but yet it's not. Like, it's susceptible, <laughs> so I can't talk. <laughs> it's susceptible. <laughs> I better say that again. It's susceptible. <laughs> to uh, a bunch of fungal diseases. Things like to kill it. As, as a baby, all the way up to, like, it could be almost ready to bloom, and then it will just wilt and die, which is super frustrating. Very cool. Um, Narlo says, hi, Jen. My daughter, Isabella, got super excited to see you on camera. She oh. says, hi. Hi. <laughs> um, hi, Bob. Your wife looks so shy, right? Just kidding. That's from Draw with Nami. I don't. I'm a little bit shy, probably. But... Uh, I think it's easier to learn English with Jen <laughs> <laughs> because her sentences are shorter. Just kidding. You guys are great. I, I am... So here's a good word for you. I am long-winded when I start talking. More than me? <laughs> I don't know. When I start talking, I don't stop. I, sometimes it keeps oh. going. Not in public. More so when I'm making videos or online. So I am reading these all in different orders. Yeah, I don't know where you or are. Or different order. Um, um, uh, I don't know where we're, Thanks for sharing the Thank you for sharing this unique experience. I do want to look at it again because it is it coming back. It casted a large a shadow as well. Your whole body going to react as there's going to be a huge drop in temperature. Maybe windy. It wasn't windy at all. No. It's it actually was... the breezes coming back right now. Yeah. Um, black rose is natural or it's artificial. I saw on the net the other day. I don't know anything about black roses. Do you um, know anything about black roses? Well, if, if they're, I have never, I don't think you can grow a black rose. It's a paint, they paint roses. And I don't know if you can dye a rose black. But oh, possibly. I, w I don't like black roses. Um, oh, it's raining. Todd says, were you able to see the solar flares or no, were the clouds in the way? No, uh, someone was mentioning that. I yeah. guess if the clouds are not there, the flares are really cool. Yeah. Did you see them, Todd? We weren't able to. Natalia says. I don't know where. Oh, sorry. Oh. My question is for Jen. Do you have free time? <laughs> what do you like to do in your... I like the wording. Do you have free time? Um, and then what do you like to do in your free time? I don't know. Like, 
what is free time? I, um, I, I have like in the winter, I think I have free time and I, and I just love what I do. So like, you're often like, are you going to come in tonight? But I, I, <laughs> I, love, I can work from sun up to sundown in, if the weather is like this, like if yeah. it's cold and wet, then it seems like work. But if like today is, um, the best, like my favorite work day, which is why maybe I should go oh, back. Is to it going to focus? Oh. Yeah, not quite. It is close to what it looks like. We're about. Oh, it's like halfway across. Yeah. Now? We're getting there. It's did, almost over. Did Todd answer? Um, Which, I don't know. Oh, he didn't. I don't so Pine says, I'm from adult school here in California. My teacher always watch your videos. Very cool. Um, Hisham says, why Wicked doesn't follow the rule makes an ED like a T, like in shocked. Are there any more? Oh, I'd have to make a whole lesson on that, Hisham. But Wicked definitely makes a D sound at the end, Wicked. And then shocked does make a T sound at the end, doesn't it? Um, Judith says, I checked out Lysianthus mm. and it is really beautiful. It is. Maybe. I think and there's a video where I, I think the fir first time I came on your video, I showed a bucket. Yeah, I think so. It's a, uh, there is a video from a couple, was it a couple years ago? Three or four years ago. I think I'm on the thumbnail and I'm only in the video for the first five minutes or so, right? Yeah. But I had a bucket of Lysianthus and they're just, they're beautiful. Um, are you growing potatoes? That's from Hanati. No. No potatoes. Nay says, I'm from California, always watching. Cool. Todd says, we could see orange parts of the ring around the bottom. It was small, but super, super cool. cool. Okay, cool. Um, Jessica says, greetings from Brazil. Um, Riza wants to know, how much time do you spend together during a day? Uh, I don't know. We never see each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I'm joking. Um, well, we have, we have a, it depends if you're at work or not. Yeah, I think we have a normal life for two people our age with kids still living at home. We see each other quite a bit and we try to make sure we do something fun with just the two of us every once in a while. So like a few weeks ago, we went to see a professional sports game. Um, it's not a big deal, but um, it's fun for me. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love so, going to Toronto. Yeah. So we do yeah. like going to Toronto for a day trip. Day trips are really what we do for fun right now. Yeah. And you go to Toronto, you feel, like you're in a totally different world than yeah. than where we are here. It's just yeah. it's fun. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I th I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Yeah. You want me to kick me out of here? No, but do <laughs> you want to? Do you want to talk more? Or? Uh, no, there was um. I, no, I thought I'd seen something, but there's a little last fuzzy look at the eclipse coming in and out. Oh, see, I said something wrong there. Oh yeah. What Jen just used sun out to sun up to sundown. Did I say sun out? Oh, sundown. possibly. Uh, yeah. That so no, that's not. <laughs> see, this is why I don't. I'm gonna go, and I don't teach English. It's sun up to sundown. Yeah, right? yeah. That's I true. hope I didn't say sun. Ah, but that's why I don't teach English because I just mix up words. Do you want to answer Freddie's question and then we'll we'll ra I'll wrap it Do up. Do you have a part of your farm where you grow vegetables for your own use? Um, no, I should. Uh, the kids grew uh, some tomatoes last year. That's probably all yeah. we've really successfully grown. The problem is flowers, um, they're, they just take priority and then I don't get to weeding the vegetables or harvesting like on time. So yeah. I just stopped. And because I go to market every week, um, I just buy from the vegetable farmers. Yeah, sometimes are, we just trade. You can trade sometimes. Flowers, trade yeah. flowers for food. It's a good deal. But I, I Sometimes we, I, tomatoes is probably all we grow, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go. Okay. Thank you for joining in. Okay. I am going to wrap this up. Okay. So, See you. Um, that's the end. Monday live stream. By the way, hey, there's no lesson coming out tomorrow morning. This is the lesson. Hopefully you got to see a little bit of the eclipse with me. Thank you so much for joining. It was fun. Uh, it was enjoyable. I was a little nervous that it wasn't going to work at all. So I'm happy that the clouds did go away every once in a while. I'm glad that you could see. Yeah, this isn't quite what it looks like. There it goes. That's what it looks. Uh, now the clouds are going across. <laughs> oh, well, still fun to hang out and to uh, be with you guys. So anyways, have a great day. I'll see you Friday with a new uh, live stream. Bye bye. I'm just going to say bye to everyone in the chat. So uh, bye.
Oh wait, I have to click on this screen. Bye everyone. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed the cloudy view. <laughs> um, that's it. We're done. Bye-bye. I would, uh, what should I do? Let me take the, oh, let's go, let's do this. I'll, I'll end by putting you on here and taking my face off the corner. That isn't really what I'm seeing right now. There it is. Bye, everybody.